my name is Laura. I am the owner of You Are Loved Templates. I create templates for productivity and overall lifestyle, and I'll be showing you how to use the wedding planner today. I got married about two weeks ago, and this is what I used to plan the wedding. I had a day of coordinator, but this is kind of what I used to plan all the little details. So once you receive this template, if you aren't prompted to make a copy to your Google Drive, just go up here to File, make a copy, and save it as whatever you like into your drive. So first on the setup and dashboard page, you'll put the first partners. I'll put Sarah and the second partner, Ben, and then the wedding date. Let's just do August 1st, 2024. And it'll give you how many days until the wedding. Over here are hyperlinks to each tab, so you can just go to vendors if you wanna get there quickly. And over here are the menu choices that you're going to have at your wedding. I just put these six basic ones, but you can put whatever you like here. The first one is checklist. This is just a generalized list. You can delete them all and make them your own. I think I got these from the knot.com just so it was general enough for everyone to use. You can also change these titles depending on your timeline. So as you cross these off, over here you'll have a little progress pie chart and the task will cross off as well. Okay, going over to the budget, I have some general categories that I listed out here, but you can change these to whatever you like, and the drop-down menu here will accommodate to whatever you put over here. So I recommend doing this first and also choosing your currency. So I'll just pick US dollar for this example. So let's start with the venue. Let's say you budget out $4,000 for the venue. And then once you get the actual price of the venue, you can put it here. So let's say it was actually 3800 and how much you've paid so far. So let's say the down payment was $1,000. Over here, it'll be a category breakdown, so you can see where you're overspending, for example. So let's do catering also. Let's say you budget 3000 and it's going to be actually 30, 3400 and you paid $500. So over here you can see that you went $400 over budget. It'll turn red if it's negative and green if it's positive. Up here is your total budget and then total amount that you'll actually spend and a little chart here that compares the two, budget versus actual. Over here it'll add up how much you've paid already and how much you still owe. So that's it basically for budgeting. You could just keep going down each category, maybe just filling in each one and putting your budget and seeing what your total budget will end up being and maybe adjusting from there. For the guest list, this is very self-explanatory. There's 400 spaces for guests. So you'll just put the name. You could say it's a guest of Sarah. Was the save the date sent? Yes. Invite? Not yet. And then whatever their RSVP will be. So if you say attending, it'll add it here, and who it was invited by, Sarah or Ben. Their menu choice, so you could say chicken, they'll add it here. Any dietary restrictions, any notes, and then gift details after the wedding and whether a thank you card was sent. So for this example, I just added a bunch of random names and say that they're attending, because over in the seating chart, it'll count how many people are attending, how many people have been seated, and how many you need to still seat. So let's say you're going to have 10 tables. You just type in 10 there. This will accommodate. And you can fill in all of your guests here, and it'll do all the totaling for you. For vendors, this is mainly a contact list, so you can put vendor name and what they're doing, forest, their email address, phone number, maybe website, whether a quote was requested, whether they're booked, how much you put in for a deposit, how much you still owe, and any notes. Then lastly is a wedding timeline. This is where you can plan your wedding day in any detail. So put the time that it starts here, the activity, and any notes. So that's the wedding planner that I used. It's the basics for wedding planning. You can add any tabs that you need for anything else that may be needed for wedding planning to your specific wedding. But anyway, congratulations if you are engaged. I was married two weeks ago, and I just want to say that you should be as mindful as you possibly can during the day. I know it's very stressful and it's hard to be in the moment, but you're only going to experience this day once. 
and worrying about all the little things that didn't go right because a lot of little things don't go right on the day of the wedding and that's okay the main thing is that you're there getting married to the love of your life and don't sweat the small stuff it's really true